Recently, China made a major announcement. The high-speed railway connecting China and Thailand will feature the advanced Fuxing bullet trains. This development has drawn global attention, including from the United States, which quickly highlighted the economic advantages China could gain from this project. Let's delve into the details. Thai Prime Minister Sretha participated in the Third Belt and Road Summit Forum, where he expressed a strong interest in working with China on railway construction. This initiative has opened new doors for collaboration between China and Thailand. The launch of the China-Thailand High-Speed Railway is expected to be a game-changer for infrastructure growth across Southeast Asia. Stretching 253 kilometers, this railway will link Bangkok to Chonburi and will incorporate China's domestically designed Fuxing bullet trains, renowned worldwide for their top-tier performance and passenger comfort. This high-speed rail connection between China and Thailand will not only bring cutting-edge Chinese technology to the region, but also enhance economic and transport networks across Southeast Asia. After overcoming multiple challenges, the project is now ready to enter its first operational phase, marking a major breakthrough for this ambitious undertaking. According to Thailand's World Journal, the Thai Minister of Transport recently announced that negotiations on Phase 2.3 of the project have been finalized. China has committed to supplying the latest Fuxing trains, further reinforcing its role in advancing Thailand's infrastructure. These discussions, held during the Belt and Road Summit in China, led to two key modifications. First, the track design was switched from ballastless to ballasted, a decision made primarily to cut costs, reducing the project budget from 51 billion baht to 50.6 billion baht. Second, the originally planned Harmony train model was upgraded to China's newest Fuxing model, reflecting a step forward in railway technology. As reported by Reuters during the second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation, China, Thailand, and Laos signed a memorandum of cooperation to establish a trilateral railway network. This system comprises two critical links, the China-Laos Railway and the China-Thailand Railway. The Chinese segment covers 508 kilometers, the Laotian section spans 418 kilometers, and the Thai section extends 867 kilometers. Combined, these networks contribute to a larger vision of connecting China with Southeast Asia, eventually integrating with the Singapore-Malaysia railway project. However, financial and technical disagreements previously stalled the China-Thailand railway. Since its approval by Thailand's National Legislative Assembly in late 2014, progress has been slow, with only 3.5 kilometers constructed. The newly signed memorandum is expected to breathe new life into the project. A key point to note is that Thailand has opted to finance its segment independently without relying on Chinese loans, while still utilizing China's high-speed rail technology and specialized equipment. Chai Wat, the Secretary General of Thailand's Office of Transport and Traffic Policy, recently stated that negotiations for the China-Thailand railway were 90% finalized. He highlighted the crucial role of the railway bridge connecting Laos and Thailand, describing it as a major success of the Belt and Road Initiative in central and southern peninsulas. The China-Thailand Railway will directly link Bangkok to Nong Kai, where it will connect with the China-Laos Railway extending to Vientiane, the capital of Laos, and ultimately reaching Kunming in China's Yunnan province. Once completed, the railway is expected to bring an influx of Chinese tourists from Yunnan to Thailand with travel times from Kunming to Bangkok reduced to about seven hours. Thailand's railway infrastructure has historically depended on narrow gauge tracks built in the 1920s, restricting train speeds to under 50 kilometers per hour. The 200 kilometer journey from Hua Hin to Bangkok previously took up to five hours, posing a significant challenge to economic development. Over the years, discussions, including those at the fifth ASEAN summit, have focused on modernizing Thailand's railway system. At one stage, Malaysia's then Prime Minister Mahathir suggested expanding the Trans-Asian Railway to Singapore, positioning Bangkok as a key hub for the entire network. If completed, this railway was expected to boost the economies of multiple countries, including Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, Myanmar, Cambodia, and southwestern China. However, despite ambitious blueprints, implementation fell short. Many railway lines across Southeast Asia were remnants of colonial times, built with differing track standards, making regional integration difficult. Additionally, historical tensions between neighboring nations further delayed progress. A major breakthrough came in November 2006, when 18 countries, including China, signed an intergovernmental agreement under the United Nations Escape to establish the Trans-Asian Railway Network 
marking a shift towards regional cooperation on infrastructure. The Trans-Asian Railway is designed to link Kunming and China to Singapore through three routes, eastern via Vietnam Central, through Laos and western via Myanmar, all converging in Bangkok. However, progress has been fastest along the central route, as only Thailand and Laos have fully committed to the initiative. For China, this high-speed rail collaboration is about more than just infrastructure. It aligns with efforts to modernize and transform the country's manufacturing sector. As the project advances, both China and Thailand must maintain strong communication and cooperation to overcome challenges. Thailand needs to strengthen its industrial production capabilities through technology transfer and workforce training. China can play a crucial role by offering technical expertise and vocational training. Deeper collaboration between the two nations will help accelerate high-speed rail development, drive economic growth, and promote cultural exchange. This massive infrastructure project has captured global attention, igniting discussions not just between China and Thailand, but across the entire Southeast Asian region. More than just an investment worth hundreds of billions of dollars, this high-speed railway represents a deeper strategic commitment to fostering regional cooperation and strengthening political trust. It is a project that goes beyond economic calculations. It is about shaping the future of connectivity and collaboration in ASEAN. Infrastructure development plays a fundamental role in advancing economic prosperity, ensuring seamless movement of goods, services, and people across borders. ASEAN, a region with rapid economic growth, faces a staggering infrastructure deficit of approximately $800 billion, with transportation alone requiring $180 billion in investments. This shortfall has made it difficult for many nations in the region to expand their economies efficiently. The China-Thailand High-Speed Railway is seen as a crucial step toward bridging this gap. By linking Thailand's railway system to China's Yunnan province, the project aims to enhance trade, boost investments, and strengthen people-to-people -people ties throughout ASEAN. The increased connectivity is expected to unlock new economic opportunities, drive industrial expansion, and create job opportunities that will benefit millions. This high-speed rail project is not just about improving transport efficiency, it is a key component of ASEAN's broader goal of fostering deeper integration among its member nations. Reliable and modern transportation networks play a vital role in supporting regional economic corridors, and this railway could serve as a backbone for increased cross-border commerce. However, while the benefits of this project are widely acknowledged, significant challenges remain. The most pressing concern revolves around the unclear economic returns and uncertainties surrounding its long-term profitability. Thailand, in particular, hesitated before signing the agreement due to concerns over the financial feasibility of the project. There have also been obstacles related to funding, technical complexities, and safety measures, all of which have contributed to delays and slowed overall progress. Despite these hurdles, the potential rewards of the China-Thailand high-speed railway cannot be overlooked. If both countries can successfully navigate the political, economic, and cultural challenges associated with the project, it could become a transformative force in the region. A fully operational high-speed railway would not only create new trade routes, but also set a precedent for future infrastructure collaborations between ASEAN nations and China. Such projects require careful planning, diplomatic negotiations, and sustained commitment from all stakeholders involved. The world is closely watching to see how China and Thailand work together to advance this ambitious initiative, as its success could reshape the economic landscape of the region. Beyond economic and infrastructural advantages, the railway is expected to foster deeper cultural and social connections between the two nations. Tourism is one of the biggest sectors that stands to benefit. With an efficient and high-speed transport link between China and Thailand, it will become easier for Chinese tourists to explore Thailand's diverse attractions. From vibrant cities like Bangkok and Chiang Mai to scenic beach destinations such as Phuket and Krabi. This ease of access is expected to generate a significant increase in tourism revenue for Thailand, benefiting local businesses, hotels, restaurants, and the broader service industry. At the same time, Thai businesses will have greater opportunities to market their products and services to Chinese visitors, leading to expanded trade relations between the two nations. Moreover, increased connectivity will likely encourage cultural exchanges, allowing people from both countries to interact more frequently, share traditions, and develop stronger ties. This growing cultural connection could strengthen diplomatic relations in the long run, fostering a sense of unity between Thailand and China. 
The more people-to-people -people interactions take place, the better the mutual understanding and appreciation of each other's heritage, customs, and way of life. If successfully completed, the China-Thailand Railway could become a model for other infrastructure projects across Southeast Asia. It would demonstrate how large-scale cross-border transportation initiatives can stimulate economic development, create employment opportunities, and improve the overall quality of life for millions of people. This railway is a crucial part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, a global infrastructure strategy aimed at linking markets, promoting sustainable economic growth, and reducing the infrastructure gap in developing nations. Additionally, as the world faces growing challenges such as climate change, environmental degradation, and economic inequality, infrastructure projects that emphasize sustainability and regional cooperation are becoming more important than ever. The China-Thailand Railway has the potential to contribute to global environmental goals by offering a cleaner and more efficient alternative to air and road transport. High-speed rail systems produce significantly lower carbon emissions compared to airplanes and cars, making them an eco-friendly solution for long-distance travel. If well integrated with other forms of sustainable transport, the railway could help reduce traffic congestion, lower pollution levels, and support Thailand's and China's environmental commitments. Looking toward the future, this high-speed railway could play a vital role in a much larger trans-Asian transportation network, further integrating Southeast Asia's economies and promoting long-term stability in the region. ASEAN has long envisioned a more interconnected and cooperative regional framework, and the China-Thailand Railway aligns perfectly with this ambition. A stronger, more unified ASEAN will be better equipped to compete in the global economy, attract foreign investment, and provide new growth opportunities for its citizens. Ultimately, while challenges remain, the China-Thailand High-Speed Railway represents a bold vision for the future, one where economic growth, cultural exchange, and sustainable development go hand in hand. We look forward to tracking the progress of this ambitious project and hope it brings lasting benefits to both nations and beyond. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates on this and other major developments in the region.